Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. In this video, we have Blake Moynes blaming himself for Katie Thurston's blindside. We're going to get into this story, who Susie Evans is dating. We're going to have that story and a quick Q&A. So lots to get to today. Probably my only video for you. I'm about to embark on a 35-plus hour journey back to California from the India, India Ocean. India Ocean? Indian Ocean. That's right, I'm south of India in a great land called the Maldives. I say land, it's island. Islands, great islands. Uh, and a toll. It's taking a toll on me, folks. All right. Well, let's blame. And now let's go find out why Blake blames himself. Did he kick the can down the road? Here's what he has to say. Have a listen. No. And as soon as I saw her. And the question was, did you know Katie would be crashing paradise? I just was like, I knew I should have hashed this out in private because I waited too long. I avoided the situation. And now I got to hash it out in front of everyone on TV. Like we had, we literally hadn't spoke at all since we broke up on FaceTime. I'm like Blake, I'm like, you know what? Let's not address this until it's critical to address. And of course, two years later, and she's like, hello, I'm in Salucita. Uh, and then there they are with seven cameras on them discussing their love life. And we get to watch it. And ended the engagement. And then all the stuff that happened after that, we didn't talk. So no, had I known, I would have squashed all of that and not had to do it in front of millions of people, which is, it is what it is now, right? I get to see a breakout of unfold on TV. Great. Fantastic. Super duper. And you know what, Blank? I will be watching that from the front row with popcorn, if you don't mind. Respectfully, I can't wait to see the conversation they have. My guess is they share their truth, why it wouldn't work out, that they really re respect and appreciate each other. This is a very rare breakup. Uh, where they actually seem to have a lot of respect for each other. Now, you might say, it's not very respectful to break up with someone over FaceTime, but what you have to remember was, this was the night that Katie Thurston did her first stand-up set in front of thousands of people uh, at Whitney Cummings' stand-up show, and she was set to fly to Canada, Canada, the next morning, hours later, and meet his family and his uh, whatever, all the different people in his life, and she just knew this wasn't it. She knew in her heart of hearts it wasn't meant to be. Why stretch it out longer? A lot of Bachelor uh, people, Claire and Dale and Tasha and Zach people, they, they, they stretch it out for the public eye. In some cases, respectfully, I'm not saying I wouldn't do that. That you want to quote unquote win and you want to cover all your bases. Blake seems like the type of guy who would have pursued the relationship longer. And maybe I would have been the same type too. Maybe I would have been like, oh, let's try it this way and that way. But as it turns out, kind of like Rachel Recchia and Tino, when you think about it, uh, there were so many issues that probably got in the way. If they lived in the same town and they could have uh, maintained their own social circles and kept their jobs and dated and, you know, slowly worked their way into it, maybe the relationship would have lasted longer. But it was one of those sink or swim things. They get engaged. They probably, you know, they have a fun fantasy suite. They do the they do the dang thing. And then all of a sudden they got to exchange phone numbers and then be like, all right, when will I see you back in my country? You know what I mean? And, you know, he had his trip planned in Africa and all these other things. There's probably a ton of anxiety that comes with being a lead of the show. And you kind of need almost full-time support from your partner in those critical times. Now, look, in a relationship, uh, the relationship should always be the dessert and not the main course. But when it comes to, uh, you know, being in the public eye, no one else really gets to handle it on the same level as your partner does. So you go on Good Morning America or, well, you know, all these chicks in the office, whatever the different podcasts they go on, you kind of need your partner to be there for you. Well, Blake rightfully has his own life and other things to do, and and for plenty of reasons, it didn't work out. Now, it probably wouldn't have worked out anyway, but maybe it wouldn't have broken off as soon as it did. But Katie, free thinker, says, you know what? No, this is, I'm not going to Canada and going to pretend and grip my teeth and meet people when I just know it's not meant to be. And maybe she became the enemy of the Moines household. But I think in hindsight, it was the right move. I think we can all agree. And I don't think she got too much shit for it in the moment. But, uh, you know, I, the fact that they didn't get like a Mint Mobile sponsorship, join Mint Mobile. When you're breaking up with your fiance from across the globe, make sure you do it in 5K, you know, or, you know, 5G, whatever. Uh, so we didn't get that out of them. But it seems that they're 
having fun with it because Katie even said better late than never, smiley, cryly, cryly, smiley face, and then the heart thing. So clearly they're on the same page. Let's go through it. She says, tune into Bachelor in Paradise to find out what happens next. And then she cheers with a Molson. Just it's uh, aw, so it's just to get closure. Oh man, hot damn! You guys look so hot together, though. And of course, we remember, never forget. I mean, this was uh, I- iconic times here. Blake recreating. Oh, hold on, let's go back there. We lost it. Blake recreating the bikini uh, sports jacket look. You know me, a good bikini, or no, maybe it's a one piece. A, a one piece with sports jacket. He did it with golden Crocs. I mean, Blake went out of his way to recreate this photo. He could have used a little bit more arch in the back, Blake, but um, uh, kudos to Blake for trying his best. Hey, want to see Blake on Driving with Dave? I know he wants to do it. Send him a DM and say, you know what? You and Dave should get together. And maybe, you know what? Maybe we'll get a designated driver and Blake and I can just sit in the back seat. Hey, Tasha, will you drive us? Us? We'll see if Tasha will drive us, and then Blake and I can have some Molsons in the back seat. Let me Google if I'm allowed to have Molsons in the back seat of a car. I don't think I am. Anyway, so she also mentioned here. Let's go to what Katie said here um, about uh, being on the Almost Famous podcast. An interview with the Almost Famous podcast with Ben and Ashley. That might be my favorite interview so far. Like. So Katie Thurston says her favorite interview so far was the Almost Famous podcast. I tell you what, being the lead character in my own feature film uh, or miniseries or major series, I should say, I immediately DM'd Katie and said, are you serious? Are you serious right now? You had a better interview with Ben effing Higgins than me? And I know there's some Ben Higgins fans out there. Why do you hate Ben Higgins? It's not that I hate him. I just think he doesn't care much about his podcast. I think Ashley Iconetti uh, is the mule that plows the land of the almost famous uh, nation. I think she does a fantastic job asking questions. Having not listened to the podcast, let's see who asked the better questions. Is it Ben or is it Ashley? Hey, no offense to Ben. Look, if I, if I was Ben in his position getting a paycheck, I'd be watching, you know, I'd rather watch WNBA than, I mean, well, look, I mean, uh, all right, we should uh, not finish that conversation. But the point being is I um, I have fun being critical of other podcasts. It's all in good fun. They're clearly enjoying the paycheck they receive. But either way, she said it was the best podcast. And uh, I was like, well, I think yeah, you're mistaken. They're very good at asking questions and, and squeezing out the tea that I was not planning to drop. But I believe the episode comes out next week, so make sure you tune in. All right, and look, I don't think Blake. I, mean, I don't think Ben's a bad podcast host. He's got a great voice. I just think if he, if he, if it was like his brainchild and he had equity in the podcast, I think he would probably come off a lot better. But he, it's very, um, it's very NPR, uh, uh, sort of like Papa Xanax, and uh, you know, have a good nap. All right, so here's Nikki Glazer, host of F Boy Island, which is the Katie Thurston show. And you're saying, how, Dave? How does this all tie together? It's just my. This is the way my brain works. So here's what she had to say about F Boy Island, which will star Katie and two other uh, ladies uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, airs in a couple weeks. And you're plugging your own show with your hat. Oh, yeah, you got like man. merch from your. Oh my <laughs> god, it merch. matches too. Your F hat. Boy Island baby coming out October 16th. Why don't you get me on F Boy Island? Oh my god, I would love to have you on that. Are you single? Why right don't now? I just do what I'm single right now? And I would go on there, but don't. Don't have any contestants that would recognize me, which will be easy, but like, I want to go in there and be like a fucking crazy person. <laughs> I would fucking a love total it so cra- much. I mean, that's just me being regular, but like, can I go on like one episode? You can eliminate me after one episode. Immediately. First episode. You're going to eliminate yeah. me immediately, okay. but I want to be like a, a, a maniac. <laughs> I would love that so much. I, wanna- I think that would be a great idea if they inserted more plants into the series, either F Boy or even Bachelor. I think that would be a fantastic idea. All right, let's move it along here. We had some Q&As that Susie did. How about Susie and Blake? What do you think, Tasha? Susie, you've met Susie and Blake. Do you think they would be a good match? Susie and Blake, carnal love. Blake saving the turtles. Susie taking photos of it all. I don't know. Should we get an OnlyFans started? What do you say we get? If we get an OnlyFans started for Susie and Blake uh, to watch them have sex, do you think we can get that? Uh, Hey, there's a price for everything. I learned that in Econ 101. So they asked her, are you in a relationship with anyone now? She said, you guys have such juicy questions. I can't even answer them. Uh Haha, but I see you. No, I am not in a relationship, though. I had a boyfriend earlier this year, lols. Forgot to tell y'all, we broke up, and I've been avoiding dating like the plague the past couple of months. Recently forced myself to go out on a couple dates, but I've never been less interested in dating, and I fully don't understand why I feel this way right now. Listen, I mentioned something on my podcast today. You can go check it out, Bachelor Rush Hour. There is a couple in Bachelor Nation that has broken up. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, You can speculate all you want. Don't ask who it is. I ain't telling you. But when it happens, 
Yeah, boy, knew. Just like I knew about Michael and Danielle months before. Well, I feel like they're still together. I told you they weren't, and I'm telling you right now, a couple has broken up. Speculate or don't. That's what the name of the game is, but don't speculate to them. Have fun with it. Don't be an a-hole. You know what I mean? All right, so here's another question from Susie. Do you and Clayton still talk? Are you guys friends or no? She said, yes, we occasionally catch up from time to time. Make sure the other is doing okay. I feel like I would say we are friends, and so would he, but we aren't close buddies. I don't feel like it's the most appropriate appropriate thing to be close with the next after a certain point. We left the relationship with so much love and respect for each other, and I think we are both grateful for that. Yeah, I couldn't believe they didn't get back together the way they talked. I thought it was going to happen. And as we know, Clayton is, uh, you know, having a load of trouble in his personal life. <laughs> I got to look for my wife. A load of trouble. He's really got to swallow a lot of drama. Or is <laughs> Oh, boy. It's Friday. Would you do reality TV again? And if so, what show? She said, I've, re <laughs> I've recently decided I'm not made for reality TV. I used to think reality TV would be better than scripted because you can just be you. But I've since learned that I care too much about people's feelings to ever do anything that interesting. I try not to speak poorly about others, and I love ho our harmony amongst a group. None of that makes for great reality TV. So to answer your question, obviously, yes, I'm an attention whore. Or cast me as a villain in a scripted show. That sounds more fun than being ripped apart for who I really am. Well, you can do reality TV that doesn't make you the drama. You know, special forces, dancing with the stars. When you do reality TV that makes your love life the drama, then sure, you're going to rip each other apart. But maybe you could do Survivor or something fun like that. Uh, maybe a reality TV show where we take paternity tests. It'll be like Dog the bounty hunter uh but it'll just be like me dressed up as a sperm going door to door are you the father uh you know in in loving memory maury povich all right uh she uh, so in the, someone asked her are you watching golden bachelor will you do youtube recaps doing recaps i can't guarantee i'll call him by the right name though i keep saying jerry anyone else getting it confused i keep having to remind myself think spongebob uh okay there is Susie. And then uh, someone had commented this. Honestly, cancel the regular seasons. I just want old people. And I couldn't agree more. Oh, and I got this q and I wanted to get to, but it looks like we're out of time. I answered a lot of your questions on today's Bachelor Rush Hour. Maybe if I have time at the airport, because we're about to embark on a 35-hour long journey. But don't worry. We got business class for four of those hours. But the hours that count, we are in the ass end of the human centipede. Let me tell you that. Nothing like 20-hour flights where everyone farts and the air gets circulated back and forth to each other. It's like, I know what you ate yesterday. I can smell it. That's a, uh, that's a corn, uh, corn cake. Okay. I'm losing my mind. So that's what we have here, folks. My Q and a, it's on today's bachelor rush hour. That's all I've got. If you want to check out where I've been, I've got it on my Patreon right here. You can go catch the room tour. It's on Patreon. I appreciate all the support. I'll be back with a Driving with Dave episode tomorrow on the Dave Neal Show on YouTube, and we will also have that content on Bachelor Rush Hour, the podcast. In the meantime, wish me a safe flight. If I don't make it, you'll know it'll be big news, and this video will go viral. Uh, <laughs> but aside from that, have a fantastic Friday, everybody. Do something I wouldn't do, and then some, and we'll talk to you guys all later. Hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Bye now.